First one. Can you say one, two? What is the clue? One, two. What is the clue? Hmm. It's a picture clue. It looks like something soft and fluffy. Does this look like anything here in the clubhouse? Oh! It's Mr. Bear's ear. And look. There's a heart. Let's look at the next one. Ready? One, two. What is the clue? Hmm. It's white and blue and has some numbers on it. Does this picture look like anything here in the clubhouse? Oh, yes. It's part of the clock. And look. There's another heart. Let's look at the next one. Ready? One, two. What is the clue? Hmm. It's round and red. Oh! It's the red button from the swing. What? There's another heart. Hmm. All three clues led us to... Hearts? Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Found all of my clues, did you? We did, Ollie, but I don't know what they mean. They're all hearts. They're in a story that Jesus teaches. Who? Who? It's about how much God loves you. Just listen to this story and follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. I was just delivering the mail. These look like party invitations. Someone must be having a big party. 
Oh wow! This one is for me! It is a party! My friend is coming home after being away for a long trip, and his family's having a party! How exciting! That reminds me of today's Bible story. Do you want to hear it? Great! Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus teaching something very important, that God loves us no matter what. One day, Jesus told some people a story about a dad and his son. The dad had saved a lot of money to give to his son when he was much older. But one day, the son asked his dad to give him all of the money right now. And the dad gave it to him. What do you think the son did? Raise your hand if you think the son stayed with the dad. Raise your hand if you think the son left and went somewhere else. Yes, the son left. He took the money and went far away from home. The son took his dad's money and spent it on everything. He bought fancy clothes. He ate really fancy food. He spent money with all of his friends. And then, whoops, the money was all gone. Everyone say, all gone, all gone. There was no more money. The son didn't know what to do. He didn't have a bed to sleep in or any food to eat. The son was so hungry, he even thought about eating pig food. Everyone say, ew, ew. Yeah, he was really hungry. The son was so sorry for what he had done and he wanted to go back home, but he didn't know if his dad would let him. After thinking about it, the son decided to go home. And when his dad saw him coming, he was so happy to see him. The dad ran to his son and hugged him and gave him a new robe and ring and shoes. The dad loved his son no matter what. The dad even threw a big party because his son was home. Jesus told this story because he wants to teach us something very important. He wants us to know that God loves us no matter what. I'm so glad Jesus teaches us important things. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. God loves you no matter what. Who? Who? Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. Jesus teaches us that God loves us no matter what. That is important. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. Oh, now I see. Love, love, love. God loves us no matter what. See you next time, bye. The people were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28. The people were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28.